What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and you guys already know the deal. We got ourselves another banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Ho-Oh team alongside with Porygon Z and Life Orb Dragapult. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Now, I've been checking my analytics and about 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's one of you guys, make sure you get on that subscription feed. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and just, just tap a button. It's really that simple. It helps me out, helps you guys out, makes you guys find my videos a lot quicker and you guys support me and help my channel grow. But starting off on the scene, we got top left corner, we have Ho-Oh, our restricted mod with regenerator ability and the safety goggle items, and then the moveset of Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Protect, and Recover. I am liking this moveset considering it's just straightforward, two stab moves, and then we have Protect and Recover to get some more HP back. We have Gastrodon on the team, who I'm going to absolutely love considering Kyogre is such a big part of the meta. We have Storm Drain over here to suck up water moves, Citrus Berry, Earth Power, Protect, Scald, and Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep. Middle left is going to be Porygon Z with Adaptability as his ability, Silk Scarf as his item, so he gets a stab boost from his ability, he gets a stab boost from his uh, Silk Scarf, and then he gets a stab boost on top of that. So he's going to be able to do some crazy damage with normal moves, so we can Dynamax him at any time and roll from there. We have Hyper Beam, Trick Room, Dark Pulse, and Nasty Pot to set up. Right next to him, we have Clefairy, who is going to be a great support mod to help protect the Pokemon around us with that friend guard and that Evo Light to help him soak up some shots. Follow me, Protect, Helping Hand, and Moon Blast. Bottom left corner is going to be Dragapult, our Life Orb mod with that clear body ability so his stats can't be changed. Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Fly, and Dive. Love this moveset. Got a bunch of coverage moves and two stat moves on it as well. Our final spot is going to be Rillaboom. We've been using Rillaboom a lot lately. He's just so good. He does so much. We have Fake Out for Flinches, Grassy God for Stab, and First Turn Priority. Knock Off to take off items, and then we have a coverage move on him with High Horsepower. He also has that Soul Fest. Help, help him soak up some shots so we can stay in the battle just a little bit longer. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto this ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Ho-Oh, Porygon Z, and Life Orb Dragapult team. Battle number one on its way. And before we get started, you guys know, I got to ask you guys a question of the day. And that is, what it was your guys' team when you first played through Pokemon Sword and Shield? I'm always curious to know uh, what team you guys actually went up against or planned on going. Because whenever a new game comes out, I'm always, like, planning ahead. I'm like, yo, who's going to be on my team? How am I going to do it? Like, I'm already doing that for the new Diamond and Pearl remix. But for me, my team was Rillaboom, Corviknight, Dreadnought. Rap Lock, I absolutely love that little octopus Pokemon. We also had Toxtricity, and then our final Pokemon was Send a Scorch for our fire typing. I love that team. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys used to play through this game. But first battle, this guy is the Tyranitar, Yvelta. He also has the Earth Fruit, the Hydreigon. Okay, so pretty cool. He also has the Incineroar for Intimidate Drops and uh Lightboard. And Lightboard. I kinda wanna go into Porygon Z. Maybe get a Dynamax off him. Hmm. We'll go into that. He also has the Tyranitar, which is kinda scary. Um, I do not need Gastron. Uh, I kind of want to go... I got to bring Ho-Oh here. I, I might go Dragapult as a lead. I think that's a solid lead. Go Dragapult, Clefairy. Bring Ho-Oh in the back. And then either Rillaboom or Porygon. Rillaboom or the Pores. Hmm. What do I want to go with? I do have a Soul Fest here. I do have Silk Scarf. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here, man? I think I'm going to go with Rillaboom. Just simply because we have that Soul Fest. We can eat up a little bit more. And we can be super effective up against that Tyranitar. So I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. I was going to go lead Porygon, but I feel like Dragon Pulse is a better option here. Because say he leads Tyranitar, I don't have a stab move that's going to do some decent amount of damage on it. And plus, I do have a stab move on this Dragon Pulse that can get an attack drop when we Dynamax. So that's huge, up, especially up against physical attackers. But he throws out the lead, and it's going to be Yavelta and Urshifu. Okay. So Clefairy and Dragon Pulse is going to get this lovely little lead here. And I think I just Dynamax Dragon Pulse and get after it. I can drop an Airstream, start getting a speed boost, and rolling out from there. Right? That, that's definitely play. Good job, Wormwind, too. But is this thing Sash? I can totally see it being Sash. But I think I still just drop a Follow Me here, and we get rolling from like that. Right? I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. We'll just drop this Follow Me. Let him do his thing. Maybe he thinks I'm weakness policy. So that could pose a threat. But he'll only know for or he will only not know for the first turn until it shows that we're actually Life Orb. But Dragapult getting that big Dynamax. I think this Pokemon is still so strong in the meta and he's so viable. Like, you can use him on basically any team. He's really fast. He hits like a truck. And he can be used for a support mod or attacking. He can be physical attacking or special attacking. He works all around. Yvelta protects. Ooh, yo, I'm liking this turn. I'm liking this turn a lot. I really am digging this turn. So, Yvelta protects. We're going up against, or we're going after this Urshifu right here. The little Airstream action. 
Get him out of here. Show me he's not sad. Show me he's not sad. Get him out of my face, baby. Strong start here. Take out that Urshville. And he does nothing. He does nothing. And we get a speed boost. So I'm digging at it. Let's do it. Get him. Get him out of here. You gotta do a three three finger wave, guys. It's one, two, three. Let's get him. Get him get him out of here. Get him out. <laughs> I always love doing that. I always love doing little quirky sayings for you guys. I know you guys do enjoy them. But we take out the Urshfu. Yvelta is still on the field. I'm not really too worried about him. I think he might be a soul vested. There's usually people like to rock that. He's going to bring out a live party. he could fake me out. He could, uh, he could thunder wave me. He could trick room as well. Go for another speed boost. Go for another speed boost. Hmm. They're both not very effective, but I think I'm just gonna go for the worm one, try to do as much damage as I can over onto Yvelta slot. And I think I'm just gonna helping hand here. I think there's no need to go into a follow me here. I think we just try to do as much damage as we possibly can. And we're gonna see a Dynamax Mario. A lovely little Dynamax over onto that Yvelta slot. I could have went for the follow me. He could yawn. Doesn't this thing learn yawn? It might. But still, we're going for this worm win. We're just trying to get off as much damage as we can, so we're using our stab move, and we're rolling out for it. Plus, with the helping hand and life or damage boost, should be able to do a decent amount here. Get it rolling. Helping hand. Give me that 1.3. I think it's 1.3. And then with the life up on top of that, fake outs can come out here. Ooh, good play by jeans here. Good play by jeans. Get off the helping hand. The fake out is nothing. Worm win comes out. How much damage are we doing? Solid amount of damage. That's a lovely amount of damage. I think I'm going to predict the max guard next turn. I really do think we predict the max guard next turn and we get after this uh, live part. I think that's play. And he's going to drop a phantasm. No, he's just going to go for an airstream and try to uh, counteract on speed. And he's just going to go straight for Clefairy. Yo, I'm fine with it. thing is, do I predict the guard? I think I'm going to predict the guard here and go after this live part. He is orb. Okay. I think I just predict guard. And I think we try to take speed advantage here. Try to make Dragon Ball a little bit faster so we can go next turn. And we go with the helping hand. Yeah, it's gonna be my play. Show me this thing's guard. Show me this thing's going for a lovely little guard. Try to waste out my Dynamax. Do it. Because I know your rocket protect, use it on turn one. Look at Jeans. Going for the big plays early on. We're going for the big plays early on. We don't play around here. We already got rid of a strong attacker with Urshfu. So if we can read this guard here, that could be a huge play and pretty much set us up for victory. I think he's contemplating it. He's taking a long time to make a turn here. He's taking a long time to make a turn here. Come on, yo. Just do it. Just do it. Oh. He doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. Sucker Punch coming through here. That's fine. That's totally fine. Here goes my uh, Airstream. Nah, that's fine. We do big damage. We do uh, proc Sash here. That's pretty nice. They bring this thing down to a sash, and we do get a speed boost as well. So if Dragon Ball can survive a hit here or stay in another turn, we should be fine because our speed, we should be faster than everybody besides this Sucker Punch, obviously. Here's an airstream, probably taking out Clefairy, right? All right, so Clefairy's out of here. I'm totally fine with that. We still have Storm Drain. Oh, no, we didn't bring Storm Drain, which is great. We did not bring Gastron. We didn't need it. He had no water Pokemon. We still have Robo Boom, so I can come in here and Grass Glide. I could come in here and drop a Glide. I can bring Ho. I think we save Ho for the back end and we bring out Boboom. We're soul vested here, so that's pretty nice. I do fake out on here as well. Which I think I just drop a fake out onto the light part. And we get after it that way. And we do it that way. Dragon Ball drops down, but I think we could drop a nice little Dragon Dart and pick up a uh, KO here. I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be able to happen. Is there a stab move? And just drop a fake out here and say, Ayo, hey, Lipard, get out of my face. Unless Lipard protects. Let's see what has, what's going on. Nope, Lipard doesn't protect. Fake out comes out. Picks up the easy KO. And I think a double Dragon Darts should be able to pick up the KO here. Pretty much set us up for victory. I know we outspeed. There's one. Yeah, we should be we should be thriving here. We should be thriving here. Beautiful, yo. Dragapult's thriving out here. He's doing just fine. A good call for me to go into this Dragon Ball with that life or blow off from that from there and dominate this battle. We still have our uh ho -Oh in the back, but we're totally fine. We have a full HP roll boom and we have a Dragon Ball that's outspeeding everything right now. He's plus two and we have Orb on him. So yeah, we're sitting in a pretty spot. I can see this guy just canceling out this battle and us starting off 1-0. Let's see who his final mind is, and it is gonna be that Tyranitar. So good thing I brought my Roboom in that back end and my uh, Porygon 
or my Dragon Pole over that Porygon. Because I expect them to bring Tyranitar. I really did. So I can just go for a dive, but I think Dragon Dark is just going to be a little bit better here. Feel a little bit stab. And it doesn't take two turns. Grass guys can come out here. Is he just going to cancel? Let's see. He just canceled. Let's go. 1 0 to get us started. We're rocking out here, ladies and gentlemen. Sitting at 1 0, looking to go back to back in battle number two. And we're going up against a pretty cool team right here. I'm loving playing some off meta teams. So this guy gets my approval. Give him the thumbs up. Give him a round of applause. Whatever he wants. He got Celeste Steela, Gudra, Malamar, Cinderace, Groudon, and Top Infinity. So he has three decently meta Pokemon. And then the other three are cool off meta Pokemon. So we're going to roll out here, try to get ourselves to win. He has no water Pokemon. Actually, he does. He is top of Finny, but I don't think that's enough for me to bring in Storm during Gas Chomp. I think we're going to roll out here, and we're going to get Porygon Z bumping out here. Porygon Z, Clefairy. I think Dragapult, Roboom? I think Dragapult 100% has to come out here. Roboom or Ho-Oh? It's Roboom or Ho-Oh here. I think Roboom could be decent. But Ho-Oh could be good as well, considering he has Groudon and we can hit right through it, but... So we, I said we got Roboom. Did we get Roboom out here? I'm digging him. I'm digging him. We can knock off, we can take off items, we can fake out. Because we already have two decently big attackers with Porygon Z and Dragapult. There's my special attacker, there's my physical. We have a support mom with the Clefairy. And then we can get like a little back end mom with Rolden. But I'm digging this, I'm liking this one. The first battle was played really well by us. We got that Dragapult in there, dominated that battle and rolled out, started off with a win. Hopefully, we can go back to back. Because I've been trying to go 3 0 for you guys, but haven't been able to in the recent videos. We've been going 2 1s and 1s and 2s. We just ground on instant race, which uh, I'm fine with. I think I just Dynamax. I think I just Dynamax here. He could go for his little blades move and hit a double hitting move. I think I just Dynamax here and get after a Cinder race, hit it with a max strike. Slow it down. Probably pick up the KO from there. Max strike on its way. Yeah, go on with it. Let's get rid of the Cinder race. I feel like Cinder race is a little, a little bit more annoying. I feel like it just is. I feel like it just is. Let's see, because we also get the uh, the speed drop too, which is big on a max strike. We get the speed drop, and then we can get after this ground on. I also have Drought, which is rather scary. He could drop a G Max Fireball and go at, get it for my Clefairy. But my favorite part about Porygon Z is when he's sitting there and he just starts spazzing out and moving his limbs and all that. His little floating arms and his floating legs start kicking like this, right? I think he does it when he dive matches. Ready? Let's see if he does it. No, not that. Not that. He does it he does it way better when he's just standing still. Let's see if we can wait it out and see if he does it after this turn. Well follow me he's gonna come out from Clefairy. Bang, Ayo, over here. Come hit on this side. He's gonna drop a pyro ball, that's fine. Uh Clefairy might be able to eat that up. Maybe not. I know he hits up the truck, man. Nope, absolutely gets something, on, but we're able to eat up a pyro ball. That's what you're here for, Clefairy. Be able to eat up that shot and it shows his orb and we're gonna be able to take out Cinderace, no problem. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him going. Silk Scarf and Adaptability doing big work. Slowing down that ground on here as well. And we're able to roll off from here. I think he might just drop a Fire Punch and try to get after me. Let's see. Or is it going to be Blades? It's going to be the Blades. Blades is going to come out of here. Take us down to half health, which I'm totally fine with. Love Pult. I still have Roboom, which I think I bring out Roboom. Do I glide? Or do I bring out the Pult speed? I think I bring out Roboom. Roboom is probably the safer player here. We're going to drop Roboom here, and I wonder who he's going to go with. I don't know if I got... I might Grass God here. Try to do as much damage as I can over onto this ground on slot. And just max strike again. Onto whatever Pokemon he throws out here. Let's see, he's going to be Celeste Steel. Hmm. Hmm, what is going to be play? He has slowed down, so I think we might just max strike over onto that ground on. Do I double up into Celeste Steel or double up into ground? Ground's posting a decent start here. We might come out with a Dynamax. I we have the Max Strike. We're gonna Max Strike over on the ground slot. And it's either I fake out onto you or do I double up in the ground. On. I think we're gonna double up in the ground on just in case he Dynamaxes. Because I don't see him uh, swapping. Or not swapping. I don't see him guarding or protecting. But I could see him Dynamaxing. So we're gonna double up into him and try to get rolling from there. And I wonder what Slush Steel is gonna do. What are you gonna do, Slush Steel? If we make a nice call. Oh, yo, look, Porygon's doing his thing that I was talking about. <laughs> no, yo, he witch all his ground on? He's gonna go into Gudra. He's gonna go into Gudra. Hey, guys, guys, can come out here. 
This thing is a sap zipper. Yo, what a read. Yo, what a read here. I like that read. I dig it. Max Strike's gonna come out here over on the Gujra slot. I'm with it. How much damage can we do on this thing? Decent amount of damage. We do get the slowdown on it, though. And I can see him totally die to Max next turn. Yo, he swaps, man. Just as I say, I don't see him swapping. He does it. Leech G coming out here. I think we take off uh, Celestial's item. I think, that's, uh, I think that's our next best place. Take off Celestial's item. Take go from there. Yo, he seeded me, man. Why you guys seed me like that? You guys seed me like that. I think we just go for another max strike. Run through the Gudra. Let me say, hey, give me your item, Celestial. I wonder what he's holding. It could be leftovers. You just try to be like bulking up here and after it. But he is going to end up Dynamaxing Gudra. And that means he's going to be able to eat up a max strike from there. Not that. Or is it going to be Celestial as he seed it? Let's see what he does. It's going to be Celestial. Okay, so we're going to be able to take off that item. I think we're sitting decently fine here. We can take out the Gudra. Um, so Dragapult in the back. It's a good battle. This is a good battle. Max Strike coming out here. Gujra's gone. He still has Groudon. The Gujra's down for count. Celestia is going to be slow, and we're going to be taking off its item, which is lovely. Hopefully, Porygon can survive one more shot so I can end up getting off a Hyper Beam here. That'd be lovely. Knockoff comes out here. Give me that item. What do we take? His Big Root. We took off his Big Root, so that's good for the Leech Seeds. Airstream's going to come through, and Robin eats with that best. He eats with that best, which I really dig. So now, now I can actually, uh, what do I do here? He's going to throw out Groudon. Big Root, he's not getting up, uh, back as much, so that's huge for us. Give me that Big Root. Big Root, I'm getting real sick of it. Getting real sick of it. I'm trying to think, what are we going to do here? Like if we take out Groudon, we might be able to waste out some turns and roll from there. I really want to drop a Hyper Beam. A beam that is full of Hypers. And I don't know if Groudon is Rock and Protect here. That's my only problem. I don't know if he's actually going to Protect. I might just Airstream try to get a Speed Boost and Protect here. I might drop a Hyper Beam because he's going to take me out after his turn. I say, we, I say we double up in the ground on slot. I think it's going to be play. This Grass Guy doesn't take out. I mean, definitely will. See what happens here. Yep, Grass Guy comes out here. Take him out, please. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Nope, we don't pick up the KO. But it's all good. Well, what did he just use? That's policy? Porygon should be faster, right? Porygon. Outspeed here. Yep, Porygon outspeeds. Good thing we're taking this thing out. We get rid of him here. Hopefully he gets rid of my Porygon. Yo, look at that move. <laughs> move is insane. <laughs> just the animation and the loud noise coming out here. It's just like murdering him. <laughs> He's going to go for an airstream. And are you going to go after Porygon? He does. Beautiful. Thank you. That's what I wanted him to do. Because if he would have went after Rillaboom, it would have been a lot easier for him to maybe get this win. Considering Porygon had to recharge. But now, we can roll out here. We have Dragapult. And I think I'm just going to Phantom Force drop out. I think it's going to be a play. We Phantom Force drop out here. Hopefully have him miss an attack. And we roll from there. That's play for jeans. And hopefully he doesn't read that. I hope he does not make a read like that. Let's roll. Band of Force getting after it. And then we, do we just glide? I think knockoff is our best bet. Knockoff try to do as much damage. We already took off this item, but everything else is not very effective. So we're going to be able to roll from there. Solid battle here. Can I pull it out? It's going to be a close one. Like I said, if he goes after my Dragon Pole here, it's sitting really good. But if not, then it's going to be a little bit closer. Let's see what happens here. Knockoff comes through. Hopefully his hands are on his head. Like, no, he Phantom Force. And no. He makes that read. He goes after Rillaboom. And he takes me out. So we're sitting at a 1v1. His Dynamax turns are over. I still don't think he's going to outspeed. It's going to be close. He's plus three. But Celestial is super, super slow. Beast Boost coming out here. I think he's just boosting speed now. No, Special Defense. Okay, we're physical. Get him out of here. We're physical. So his Beast Boost, giving him none. Giving him nothing here. Right? Yeah. His Dynamax turns are gone. And now we're just sitting at a lovely 1v1. He cannot protect. He could lead seed this turn. Let's see what happens. Hopefully he outspeeds me now. That could be so great. Actually, I kind of want him to because he'll miss. 
Nah, overall, I'd rather him not outspeed me. Let's see how much Phantom Force does. He, he does not outspeed. Phantom Force coming in here, doing big damage. And another Phantom Force should be able to pick up this win. Should be able to pick up this win. He does seed. He does seed. And this kind of... This could be big for him. Because... I'm trying... Wow, dude. These are coming up big. I'm trying to think here. Um, We can vanish. Okay, the terrain goes away. That actually works better in our favor. We got a Phantom Force again. Hopefully, the seeds still connect when we're banished. If it doesn't, we have this winning the bag. But if not, we have to eat up another shot. We vanish instantly, baby. Let's go. Air Slash, come out here. Show me the seeds don't come through. They do. What you mean? I'm not even here. I'm not even here. All right, so all we have to do is either KO here. Or eat up an air slash. Oh, or not. Because if air slash brings us down, like red seeds could take us out. Phantom Force, KO. Should be fine. Should be fine. This shouldn't do 20 damage, right? No! No! Wait a minute. Could Dragon Darts KO? We gotta go with Dragon Darts. We gotta go with Dragon Darts. We have to go with Dragon Darts. We have to go with a thing that's gonna hit right now. KO this thing. KO this thing. Yes! Let's go. I was gonna be so mad because that Leechee did exactly 20 damage, which meant I couldn't go into a Phantom Force. I could not do it because then the Leechee would have killed me. But we ended up picking up that win. Going 2 0. We can hop into our third and file. Look for that perfect record. Run it, ladies and gentlemen. Run it. We're sitting at 2-0, looking for a perfect record, going up against another Yvelta team over here. He also has Cabalion, uh, Dragapult, Comfy, Landorus, and Lapras. So he can do a lot here, which is kind of scary. I kind of want to bring in my Storm Drain. Definitely want to bring in Ho-Oh, just because I want to show them off. Um, hmm. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? I kind of want to leave the Clefairy alongside with either Corian or Dragapult. I think they both work pretty well here. I think Dragapult's going to be the better option. Dragapult, yeah. Yeah, let's go Dragapult. Definitely want to bring Ho-Oh. Do I bring Storm Drain Gastron? Do I bring Storm Drain Gastron? I don't think we're really going to need it. It's either, I'd say we either go Rillaboom or Porygon. Rillaboom or Porygon. Let's go Rillaboom. Let's get booming with the Rillas, man. We have that Soul Fest. Let's work up against that Lando, up against the Lapras. Uh, we can take off items. It's super effective up against the Dragapult with a knockoff. I think we can roll all pretty strong. Here. Come on, y'all. I want that 3 0. I want that 3 0. Let's run it, baby. You guys heard me in the beginning. Run this battle. Let's go. I'm ready for it. But still, you know, starting off 2 0 really, really well. We showed off the Porygon. We showed off the Dragapult. And we're rolling strong. But he throws out Yavelta and Comfy combo. Okay. I see you, man. Um, I cannot follow me because try should come out before to follow me, right? I believe that's the thing. I believe that is a little thing. So I think I'm just going to helping hand here. I'm going to Dynamax and I think I could just Phantasm. But I think I'm just going to try to get off as much damage as I possibly can over onto you. And then just follow me next turn. No way you're Alice switching, right? He's going to Alice switch next turn. I know that for a fact. He is going through ally switch next turn. Watch. There's no way he goes for an ally switch this turn. If he does, he pretty much sets himself up for victory. But I think he's going to go for the triage uh, ability with a draining kiss. Try to proc policy. Try to get after it like that. And then know that I'm using a dragon move. And then try to ally switch next turn. Yep, there's the Dynamax. There it is. He probably thinks he's going for a follow me. But nah, yo, we helping hand him. We give him a little round of applause. Getting that attack boost. And we get going from there. But I remember when I was a kid, I remember learning like these support moves on my Pokemon. Like these moves do absolutely nothing. Like, why the heck am I even using them? But now, fast forward like 15, 10 years later, these moves are awesome. I love the support mods and they actually all have a purpose. Helping Hand comes out here. And what are you going to go for, Comfy? Training Kiss. Yep. All that coming all day. And the uh, Alice Switch is going to come after this. Maybe I should have went for a follow me here because he might be able to KO me. Here's my worm one. Show me a crit. Let's just get the KO here and roll from here. 
Was that a crit? Or did we just dump on that thing? Did we just, <laughs> we just got a crit, bro? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Poke Gods, thank you so much. <laughs> right as I say, I'm like, yo, just let us get a crit and dump on this Pokemon. And they're like, you got it, man. You get one a day. This is your one. You get one Pokey Wish a day. I use my one. Just know that. You guys get one a day. Everybody gets one. That's the rules. That's the rules. Might be one a week. Might be one a day. Depends how he's feeling up there. But we got ours. We're rolling strong here. We have a Dynamax. He might go for an Alice Switch. I'm going to just drop another Helping Hand. And I go for a Phantasm this time. Let's try to get rid of Confi. Nah, yo, Lapras. I'm going to Lapras out of here. Don't want to drop an Ice Moves on me. Actually, Lapras probably going to protect. It could. Maybe I should have went after Confi. But, yo, I'm liking this. So we have our friend guard up. You can follow me. We can help a hand. Magapulse is coming in hot, baby. Helping in. Get it. Knew it. What did I just say? What did I just say? I said, Lapras going to protect. And what do you know? Lapras protects, man. Get that Phantasm going. I think Phantasm is so cool because you see like a, a boot flying, a cup, a ghost cup, and just how everything hits this thing at once. We get the fence drop though, so we should be chilling next turn. I'm really not worried about that coffee. I'm a little worried about that coffee. <laughs> we should be able to eat up uh, whatever we have though. Uh, the way I should go for another helping hand. I don't think we're going to need the helping hand. I think we just moon blast over on such coffee, maybe sash. Deal some damage, and we just Phantasm get another defense drop on the slot and take out Lapras. Any case comes out. Hey! Hey! Chill on me. Chill on me. The fire comes through. Moonblast him. Yay. Like I said, I don't think we need the uh, the helping hand here. Blizzard comes out. The fairy voids, and of course, hits my Dragapult. Dragapult says, yo. We eating that up. <laughs> And then he absolutely dumps on it. I love doing that. Like, if I'm messing around with my friends and they, like, punch me in the arm or, like, hit me or something, I do that. I do it, like, real quick. I'm like, I, like, lick all my fingers real quick. I'm like, yo, that was a tasty snack, man. <laughs> yo, next time your friends hit you, do it, yo. It's hilarious. He's going to roll out with Lando. He gets intimidated off, but, yo, we clear body. We clear body. That's not lowered. We have the speed advantage all day. Um, do I fan Phantom Force or like Dragon Darts? Uh, no, we're not gonna Dragon Darts. We are going to end up uh, Phantom Force. And I think we're just gonna follow me. Actually, no, he could drop an EQ, so I'm just gonna Moonblast. And I'm just gonna Phantom Force. If any case comes out, can we eat? No Dragon Bolt. Let me lick my fingers again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We go down there. He gets a little bit of HP back. Actually, all of his HP back. And I still have Rillaboom in the back. I still have Rillaboom in the back. He's going to be able to come out here hot. Do some work. Don't I have Ho-Oh? What did I end up bringing for you? I think I ended up bringing Ho-Oh, which is nice because I can't get hit by EQs. And it could be choice. It could be choice. But, yo, he just did some work onto his Comfy. He just did some work onto his Comfy. I'm just going to bring out Ho-Oh, even though... uh. Robin would have been the better play. It's an interactive grass. I didn't get hits off. But I just want to show off how I don't think I threw him out in the battle yet. We're just going to move blast here. Hopefully pick up KO. And I'm just going to take a fire and throw us over onto the Lando slot. Could drop a rock on me. That is a possibility. But let's just see. You can't drop another EQ. Unless he's choice into it. I'd be fine with that because he takes out Confi at that point. And he's going to protect. I oh, know he's going to protect him. Okay. That's fine. Then kiss again. Nope. Moonblast gets out here. I think he's going for like a recover or something. And we take you out. We're pretty much thriving here. He's not choice. He did show that. He's probably a soul vest it. And we come out here with here. And I think I'm just gonna help him hand and throw a secret fire at this thing. Gotta pick up this W. Try to pick up this W, yeah. But yo, the boy just do it. We just go 3 0 for the jeans online game community, baby. <laughs> Haven't said that in a while either, but we definitely had to considering we're gonna go 3 0. Having this in a good bit, and there's some. Oh, wow, yo. Oh, gives us a burn. Just rub it in his face. KO him from there. Nope, he has a berry. Is that Lumberry? No, I haven't seen a Lumberry in forever. Lumberry used to be the wave. Everyone used to be rocking a Pokemon with a Lumberry on it. It was working out so well. But Lumberry took out the burn. And actually, he's going to go first here. I'm just going to follow me here so he doesn't take out my boy. Oh, no, he can go for a rock slide. That was a dumb following me. That was a dumb following me. 
That was real dumb. He's gonna get he's gonna take out my Pokemon. Actually, I missed my ho. -Oh. But Fairy avoids it. But ho oh's dead, man. <laughs> oh man. You know how May is gonna be when I bring out this roller boom? He's gonna be like, come on, give me something I can EQ. Give me something I can EQ and take out. He's gonna be like, mwah, real boom. He's like, oh no. <laughs> He's like, come on, man. He's probably just gonna cancel it out now. Well, I think I'm just gonna drop a fake out. Fake out a little bit better. And get to flinch. And Gresh God even miss? I don't think Gresh God can miss. I'm just gonna moon blast and fake out. Fake out, I know, doesn't miss. I think Grace God might be able to miss or they can avoid it. There it is. Battle was canceled. This team, ladies and gentlemen, do yourselves a favor. Rent it right now. It rocks out so good, and it's very simple to play. You got Porygon Z and Dragapult. You can lead them with the Clefairy and roll out, do some big damage, and set you guys self up for victory. Then you also have that Storm Drain Gastron to counteract some Kyogres and all that stuff, which we didn't get to show off. But then you have Ho-Oh and Robo, who are two great, strong back-end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And above all else, have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.